Hey folks, Philly Boy J here back with another recipe. And today I am going to show you guys how to make the world's best fried cabbage. Listen, you guys will be doing yourself a disservice if you don't try this fried cabbage recipe. It is truly the world's best. I said the best recipe. So what I do first is I chop my cabbage into small pieces and then I wash it with some salt water. I rinse it and then sit it aside until it's time to cook it. All right. So that's what you're going to do. Chop your cabbage into small pieces and add it to a big bowl of salt water. And how I wash it is just like this. Just press and squeeze and rub the salt water up against the cabbage and then I rinse the cabbage and that's it all right let's talk about the ingredients I'm going to be using all right guys so the ingredients I'm going to be using are onions red bell peppers green bell peppers pork bacon salt sugar crushed red peppers black pepper and a small amount of hot sauce. I'm going to add the hot sauce to the cabbage once it's done. So I'm going to move over to the stove now and I'm going to be using a large size skillet. All right guys, so I'm going to place the skillet over medium high heat. What I'm going to do first is saute the vegetables and I'm going to cook the vegetables with the bacon. Now, pork bacon produces its own grease, fat, whatever you want to call it. So, I'm not going to need any oil. It's the grease from the bacon that's going to saute the vegetables and fry the cabbage. So, I'm going to add the bacon now. Throw this bacon on up in there all right and I'm going to add the chopped onions and peppers and I'm going to let them fry for a few minutes or saute so I'm going to add the cabbage now and I'm going to add a small amount of water along with the seasonings. So now I'm going to pour in a little water, just a small amount. And I'm going to add my seasonings. I'm going to let this cook. And I'll get back with you guys once it's almost done. See you in a few. I told you that the cabbage was going to cook down. Cabbage shrinks a lot. Okay, and the remnants from the bacon has darkened the water. This flavor right here, that's what this is, flavor. That's going to give the cabbage lots of flavor. 
a bacon flavor and it's going to provide color so I'm going to let this continue cooking once all of the liquid evaporates the cabbage is going to begin frying and then it'll be all done it's pretty much it so I'll get back with you guys once it's done okay guys so here's my cabbage it's frying now and it's done you can also see that the cabbage has shrunk tremendously it may look in the beginning like there's a lot of cabbage but once it cooks and it begins to fry you're left with a small amount so if you're making this for family or for an event feel free to double the recipe I'm gonna add the hot sauce now Gonna stir that in and that's pretty much it just how I make my fried cabbage you guys are going to love this fried cabbage recipe so I'm going to plate it now alright guys and there go your fried cabbage is really delicious I hope you guys enjoy it make sure that you follow me on Facebook Twitter and Instagram peace